What's up, Maples? Welcome to this video. So, I had like three hours spare time, and I was like, hmm, how many mesos can I make within those three hours? So, let's find out in this video. And just so you know, you have to get some decent damage to do the same things as I did in this video because as you can see my damage is okay -ish. and um, you need to be somewhat high level, uh, 140 preferred and you need to have one friend. The reason is that because you need to be able to at least solo a few bosses like Normal Zekim or Hilla if you want to like uh, get some messes. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my uh, vid other video about the daily, why daily boss rooms are important but this is exactly why. We're going to do the daily boss runs uh, together with Femke for the best because you need two people and we're going to get all the drops. Now it's pretty important because the drops they sell for so many mesos. And because I am pretty strong, Femke is pretty strong and she's a page so she automatically wins every boss fight. See, uh, we can just... Uh, the <laughs> we can get all the potions and sell them of course. So we did two times... I did two times Sekum, uh, two times Hilla, all the routes of boss bases. Whoa, all the roots of boss bases, all the roots of abyss bosses, that's like a tongue breaker. And after that I sold all my potions that I found and I got a nice 8 million already just from that. So afterwards I went to uh, this boss, I think his name is Laika, I can't remember for sure. And I was uh, farming him for the Crusader coins because I wanted to get some spell traces. So this took about like 50 minutes, I went through all channels, but apparently some other uh, mapler like stole all my Lycas and now there is like nothing left for me, there was only a few so I got a few coins. And after that I was like screw it, I'm gonna do the number one thing that generates mesos, trading. Because of course not only do I need to level up, but also there are elite monsters or elite bosses which will uh, drop cubic blades or chaos cubic blades which you can sell for some pretty nice amount of mesos. Even though, of course, these bosses are pretty strong. Also, they drop level 140 equipment, which is like super nice. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. And as you can see, just now I found like one of these Chaos Blades or Cubic Blades. Cubic Blades. And you can also, there's also uh, plants there, of course, like the Golden Plants or Hard Stones, which you can harvest and you might get lucky and find a super rare drop. Uh, I did get a, f found like uh, one of those gold plants, but I didn't really do anything with it because, well, I didn't get any good drops and three hours is not nearly a long, a long enough time to actually do like kind of weird stuff, herbalism, stuff like that with these, uh, with these drops. So after killing a few of these bosses, I was quite unlucky today. I, only, I found a couple of, uh, of bosses and this, I mean the total thing including like selling the stuff later on took like two hours, but I had so much bad luck. I only found like five or six elite monsters and only found two cubic blades within two hours. So that's pretty bad actually. I, my, my, I consider my luck pretty bad in this video. Anyway, we went to the hideout of the uh, Silent Crusade because you can buy uh, spell traces, one on spell traces for 20 coins. And I did find all the spell traces while training. And of course I had over 1k coins, but I only found like 80 of them or 70, 80 coins at the uh, at doing bossing and as you can see right there I sold all my level 140 equipment and do you know why Maples? because I am an idiot sandwich that's why as you can see here I am selling cubic blades in the in the free market and as you can see below just so they're selling superior they're buying superior item crystals for 600k each and guess where, where you can get superior item crystals from exactly from disassembling level 140 plus or level 120 level 110 level 140 plus whatever high level equipment and I just sold all my stuff and because I sold all my etc drops as well I currently didn't have any of them anymore so I went back to golems to the ancient mixed golems to get this equipment again and disassemble it this time so the thing is while making this video I actually found this out so this video is not only educational for you guys I hope so at least but it's also educational for me so I found out like hey these items actually sell and like you can get these drops from like regular monsters from bosses and from uh, these elite monsters so why the hell not just disassemble everything and sell it to people so as you can see right now I only have like 30 mil so far and that's not a lot but the thing is you have to keep in mind I sold like 10 of these items and if you disassemble them if you're lucky you can get like three superior item crystals which is like uh, almost 2 mil so I found one more cubic blade, thankfully I was a bit more lucky in that uh, one uh, 45 minutes that I trained. Overall the thing took like 3 hours. 
and now I can finally sell my superior item crystals. I made around 40 mil. So that's how I made around 40 mil in 3 hours and selling twisted pieces, twisted time of course. I could have made 50 mil, but I didn't because I was an idiot. Thanks for watching and see you next time.